Breaking news from overnight, General Motors plants in nine different states are shut down after thousands of United Auto Workers members went on strike. Negotiations will start back up at 10 this morning, but the union's top negotiator says that both sides are still fall apart, far apart. CBS's Laura Podesta joins us now with details on why they're so far apart. What do we know, Laura? Hey, good morning, Eric and Nicole. Well, this is the first national strike in over 10 years for the United Auto Workers. The last one was in 2007. And according to union representatives, they are standing up for better wages and affordable health care, as well as their fair share of profits. General Motors, for its part, has released a video where the executive vice president says the company is offering workers wage increases or lump sum increases over the life of this new four year contract. Plus, he says the company says it's investing billions of dollars in plants and new product programs. But it's clearly not enough, and the two sides are not seeing eye to eye. Take a listen. These UAW members, not so long ago, helped save a company that many people didn't think was going to survive. They stood up for that company. And now they want that company to stand up for them at the table. And a decision to strike is not taken lightly because for these workers, it means a lot less pay. Strike wages for UAW members is just $250 a week. Eric and Nicole. Laura, thank you. Of course, the big question is if this is a prolonged strike, if they're far apart, is there enough inventory? We're going to see empty car dealer lots coming up through the strike. Yeah, we could, depending on how long the strike goes. Analysts say GM has 11 weeks worth of cars, trucks, and SUVs. In other words, enough vehicles on those dealer lots to last about 77 days at the current sales pace. Back to you. All right, Laura Podesta, thank you very much. We appreciate it.